what's going on guys and welcome to another video where basically it's more or less an update video like we have got loads going on at the minute um, and a hell of a lot since i last picked up this camera so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead hopefully this video i'm gonna walk through everything that has been changed since i last spoke to you guys obviously originally already you guys can see that the ceiling in the garage has been plasterboarded um i've put new lights up i've done loads of things so yeah this video i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys all an update okay guys so i'm gonna go try and go ahead and try and fit most of everything that's been going on in this video but more or less i will probably be doing a video on each thing like probably do like a video on just doing an update on the garage and yeah basically so i'm just gonna close the door quickly just get uh more of the main object okay so literally i don't know if you guys have noticed if you've been here for a while you would have probably noticed in the backgrounds of my videos that this garage was it had beams i'll put a picture up here somewhere of what it was before it had beams on the ceiling which don't get me wrong perfectly fine not really an issue but this behind this wall is like a field um so like all the wind would come over in through the beams and come into the garage which is not the only reason why i've had it plasterboarded but it's definitely a lot better having it the way it is so that in the winter this place can actually hold heat a lot better. Um, my little heater there, <laughs> which is definitely not gonna heat the whole garage, but <laughs> anyway. So more or less, as you guys can see here, I've already started painting a little bit. This is sort of like a te tester sort of bit, but the whole garage um, ceiling, I want to be this color. Um, I just need to really get my arse in gear and carry on. You can see here, I filled in the cracks in between each plasterboard. Um, which is normally would look like that without the filler and you can see all the screw holes and whatnot But I need to fill up the rest sand it paint it and Carry on really because These are all LED lights now. So basically I want this to uh, the same one like this to be there As you see that the wires are already there. They're just connected to each other to make the circuit um, and then the same here and same here so yeah this place eventually is going to be very very lit which is exactly what i need in a garage and of course in the future hopefully one day i can get a roller shutter door instead of this big thing because when this door's up it comes to like here and all the lights are above the door don't shine down to the floor because the lot the door's in the way basically um with a roller shutter door it will just go straight up into a little box and it, it would just be perfect but i've had a few quotes and they're not exactly very cheap um so we'll get we'll, one day maybe one day otherwise i've gone ahead and put spotlights in each side of the garage like that now these are perfectly like brilliant now because obviously i can see everything on the shelf all the cleaning products all the just random junk that's there at the minute um i've got my See, I've done the paint there as well around the airline. This is actually wall mounted. This wasn't wall mounted before. Um, I can't remember. I think it was mounted to the one of the beams up above. But airline ready to go. Um, and the floor needs to be painted again. But it's just one of them really. I, I don't really help myself because I don't really put any newspaper down or anything. I just spray whatever i want on the floor and then i'm just like yeah i'm gonna paint it one day so <laughs> but um yeah guys otherwise again i've got the beam lights this side um what else have i done here i, I guess i can show you this so i've just got this isn't finished either i've still got these things here that basically protect the ply board um just go around i've still got that i need to cut it spray it paint it screw it into the side there as well and That'll be another job done. But yeah, guys, this is basically the garage update. It's still got the same sort of setup. TV on the on the wall for the tunes. Uh, I don't know if I showed you this um, awesome little extension need, which 
We've got USBs and all sorts. And we've also got changed all the plugs. So all the plugs in the garage are now brushed alum aluminium, I think they are, or something like that. And it's just sort of like a little clean up thing, really. And I've also got some new sockets over here, which again, new type of sockets. And we've also got a switch here for some outdoor lights. I don't think you'll be able to see, no. I'll show you guys that in a bit, but um, there's something else you need to figure out. And yeah, I don't know if I've showed you this little section up on the wall as well. So you've got your number plate, light, um, number plate, bits and bobs, screws, bulbs, bulbs, freaking all sorts, really. Another thing that's very new to me is this little ST150 that I picked up. So basically, I have had this for a few months now. It's literally gone from an everyday, daily, freaking abuse. No one really cared about it, and it was just sat for ages and didn't really have much of a life. And at the end of the day, I picked it up relatively cheap, and this is what it looks like now. Um, I... <laughs> I'm going to have to do a separate video on this car because I've literally done so much to it at this point. Um, I need to literally sit down, list it all out and show you guys properly. But uh, yeah, so that's my little ST150. And this is my new thing as well, is a Husqvarna 125 Supermoto. Um, this is my main daily for January, when if you guys didn't know or if you're not one of the subscribers, I don't actually have a license this year, so my license is um, disqualification ends January, and this is going to be my daily. This is going to be my every day until I can get my car license back, and that's going to be my daily. And obviously the Audi still got it. It's um, currently in the garage underneath the cover, and uh, I haven't started it in about three months. So maybe I'll do a video on going to take the cover off and crank it up after months, really. I really haven't been that bothered to see it, to be honest, because not only is the weather appalling, but I can't really do much other than warm up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's it, really. And of course, I've still got the Pushy, which is have, has actually done me absolutely brilliant this year i've been using this thing since january every single day to work to shops to everything wherever i need to go i'll use that and it's done me absolutely brilliantly but uh yeah guys um sort of like a garage update sort of update on everything really and yeah i think the next video you guys are going to see is a breakdown of what the hell is the story with this thing and uh yeah okay guys so yeah this is it this is the whole update the weather is absolutely appalling at the moment we are definitely going straight into winter it is windy raining anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here guys make sure to subscribe i'm gonna be coming back with a few more videos this week um, I want to try and get back into this because I did really enjoy it and I liked being able to share everything that I've been doing because I just do so many little things like projects and just pissing them out as being a, or like, um, what's the word? Being a automotive person really. So um, yeah, I want to go ahead and share it with you automotive people and share the experiences. So yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one.